think I think each time we go out there, something gets better, no matter what that is, whether it's a person or an event or just like the meet as a whole. Like every time we go out there, something gets better, and so I think it's just learning to take the good from whatever happens and then taking that forward. So what got better on Friday? I think a lot of people had a lot of good moments. You know, we had Kai's beam, our um, beam team in general. I think that was one of our best beam performances that we've done all year. And so there's just there's just a lot of wins that can come out of that. And so we just got to take it and move forward. Second 10, any thoughts on that? Not a lot of thoughts, just, you know. Don't mess it up. We're patting ourselves on the back for two seconds, and then we turn the page and we keep going. Noticed that in the moment you said, "Wait, was that really a ten? Like, were you, how hard was it? Like, what were you, what was going through your head when you finally saw that?" Because it was it was really surreal because it's kind of it's kind of hard with like the way that lineups work, especially being so like up front in the lineups. I wasn't really expecting it, and it kind of did catch me off guard a little bit. But I, I saw it up there, and I was like, "This is so crazy! It's happening." Uh, but like I said, we just like the rest of the team. Like you have to keep moving forward. You can't just settle in that one moment. You still got two events to go, three events to go. So you, you can't get complacent there. Jay mentioned how that vault was like relatively new for you. It would. So how how new has it been for you, and how often have you been training for it? Um, I think I picked it up again about last summer after last season. Um, I was training ball um, last year, but this year we decided to change it. I thought it would be a little bit better on my body and just kind of um, how well I liked it because it's something that um, I think would be easier than other options. But I think you just I worked on it for just this past summer, and then we decided that's what we're going to do. How do you feel like your guys' confidence as a team has been going along so far? Jay talked about it a lot last week. You kind of touched on it. Now after you go into a place like Auburn and you guys perform well, how does that kind of carry over to Florida and move forward? I think this past weekend we had a huge confidence boost going into an arena like Auburn with all of the crazy environments that they got over there. And so we really, I thought we handled it so incredibly well with all of the chaos that goes on over there. And it really does like help boost your confidence because you know, if you can do it in this setting, then you come home, then it's it's almost like a little bit easier to do it at home, so. And there's still some changes in the lineup, but more continuity across the events. So do you feel like people are kind of feeling more comfortable in their roles? And yeah, I think we're starting to kind of settle in to kind of get into a normal groove of how our lineups work, how the each meet goes every single week, which can be kind of kind of draining. But I think we're kind of just, you know, getting to the rhythm of it and we're keeping moving forward. Uh, Trinity Thomas is just so good and has been pretty consistent, you know, consistent. I guess just as a fellow gymnast, what do you see at her? and either admire or, or try to emulate? Yeah, I think Trinity Thomas is an incredible athlete all around, not even just with her gymnastics, her personality as well. You know, I've had the pleasure of meeting her a few times here and there, and she's just such an awesome, like her character, the way that she carries herself. And that's something I really admire about her because not only is her gymnastics superb, but it's also her character as well. So um, recent, article came out, or at least it came out in January, but it finally got picked up that um, said that you might be training for Asian Championships. And so last May, you had gone to Southeast Asian Games and you mentioned that uh, it was originally a one-time commitment, but that the door was open for more. Uh, what made you decide to just open that door and go through it? Um, well, I haven't exactly gone through the door yet. The door, even think about it. the door is yes. open. I just, I, it's not something that my mind is at right now. I'm really focused on this team, what we're doing, um, just every person like in this room. That's my main focus right now. And so, you know, it's hard to kind of think ahead for these like months in advance, something like later in the year. And you know, maybe like the, like I said, the door is open for that, but there's nothing. There's no official plans for that. You talk a lot about that, about teammates and doing it for your teammates and that kind of thing. Does that help? alleviate some of the pressure on you mentally to, to, to do it that way? Is that kind of like why you're doing it? Yeah, I think it can just because the how our scores work is five up, six count. And it's knowing that like I trust my teammates to go out there just like they trust me to go out there. So I think it kind of does alleviate that pressure a little bit. Did you know who the last um, LSU gymnast was to get two tens back to back boots? No. Those bugs. Did you oh, know really? That? I didn't know that. Yeah. So That's y'all didn't talk about that at all? Like, no. <laughs> so what, what's your relationship like with her, and then, you know, how, how does she influence y'all, you know, being a past LSU? 
interesting opportunities. Uh, yeah, Bugs is so awesome inside and out just because, you know, coming from like a coaching aspect, she knows what we like, she knows the whole drill. She knows like the preseason, the mid season, and all of the above. And so coming from her being able to say that like she trusts us, she trusts our gymnastics, that means a lot.